comes in many forms, and likewise for philosophers, poses many problems, especially vis-a-vis -vis the existence of God. First, there's what's known as the logical problem of evil. Like all rational people, theists can't help but acknowledge that the world is full of evil. And here we're understanding evil to be all manner of bad stuff, like not just Hitler or Darth Vader or Moriarty. It's everything in the vast spectrum of badness, from stubbed toes to plagues and everything in between. Theists and atheists both agree that evil exists in this way, but they disagree about the next part. Many theists believe in an omniscient, omnipotent, and omnibenevolent God. But atheists argue that this creates a contradiction, a set of beliefs that can't all be true at the same time. Because evil is bad, right? Whether it's stubbed toes or genocide or paper cuts or epidemics. So if there's really an all-knowing God out there, he knows about all the evil. He might even know about it before it happens. And if he's all-powerful, he could stop it. And if he's all-good, then he would want to stop it. And yet he doesn't. The evil continues. Philosophically rational people shouldn't hold inconsistent beliefs, so Atheists argue that you're going to have to give something up. And the thing to give up is God. Some theists, however, take a different one. They choose to give up. Good. <laughs> 